DNA technology is a game changer for crime investigations, now used to identify people and crack cases. DNA is a, it's a huge factor nowadays. Sergeant Dennis Convery is in the major crimes unit at the Camden County Prosecutor's Office. From crime scenes, he collects DNA that's everywhere, in and on your body, and can also be found on things like clothing or doorknobs. Any surface you touch can have DNA on it? Just about, yes. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It's a little molecule with a huge influence. DNA is uh, the genetic code. It is encrypted in every cell of your body, and uh, it is inherited from your mother and your father. Wendy Roth at the University of Pennsylvania says DNA determines everything from eye and hair color to what kind of diseases you're predisposed to. Scientists can learn a lot of information about people's backgrounds as well as some of their health proclivities or other characteristics. DNA information on millions of people is stored and processed mainly by federal and state labs. Here's what a typical readout looks like for police. The phenotype is basically what tells me about the person's ancestry. DNA is also used by commercial organizations like Ancestry and 23andMe to provide family history and health information to people who pay for the service. I found my birth mom. Unless people check a privacy box, the genetic information from these companies can also be accessed by law enforcement. DNA from a variety of sources now providing an abundance of information. It's something that it's given us more and more hope to keep on moving forward with the cases.